Hello. Today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants section 64, verse 2. For verily I say unto you, I will that ye should overcome the world. Wherefore, I will have compassion upon you. Okay, so the world can be very daunting. It can be very overwhelming. It can try and just suck us dry of all good qualities that we have. Because the pressure to be perfect and conform to a standard is there. We have no agency when it comes to being of the world. We are not free to be as we will. We are not free to embrace our individuality. We must conform. We must give in to political correctness whether or not we understand it or are comfortable with it. We must do as the world demands or we are treated as a pariah. We should not be ashamed of our beliefs. We should not be ashamed of standing by our beliefs despite others mocking us and asking us why we do it. We should not be ashamed of God, our eternal Father, and His Son, Jesus Christ, our elder brother. We should not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We can overcome the world's demands that we bow down to conformity and forget God. With God's help, we can do this. We struggle with that every day. Nobody's immune from that. But as long as we stay close to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he will help us to overcome the world and stand by those standards which help us to maintain a relationship with Jesus Christ and feel the love of God. People will pressure us to abandon our beliefs because they are not of the world and they go against what the world considers cool or human or compassionate. But we are children of God first and foremost and we do not have to conform to the world just because we live in the world. That which is of the world is temporal. That which is of God is eternal. And we should pursue the eternal things that we might find lasting joy. Because pursuing the temporal things will only give us momentary pleasure that will not last. But that's something we have to learn for ourselves and make a decision on for ourselves. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.